All right, Herb Dean, our referee Wait, right. for this one, just about Wait. to get underway. Good. All right, here we go with the start of round one. It is always special when Muhammad Ali takes his act to the world-famous octagon. And I think the promotion did him right by this matchup here tonight, fighting a well-rounded fighter, but also a guy who prefers to strike just like Muhammad Ali. The question begins, is this dude really going to shoot at Ali's legs here tonight? We heard Muhammad Ali talking this week about his improved takedown defense. I can't wait to see how this plays out. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Able to check that kick as well. Bunches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing his shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attack. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Frantic pace early on to this one. Oh, nice single, yes. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Good work from the top here by Ali. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, he's got the Kamura position locked in now. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, to open up a little bit. Glancing right hand lands up stairs. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Another punch to the head. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Unable to land with that punch. but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Nice. Nicely done. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, doubling up on the knee. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. And now he's attempting to choke. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Ali's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Muhammad Ali's back in half court. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defenseman. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, 
making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Archer next. Hey, stop. Archer, that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. There it is. Now he's going to bump. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Nice positional control here. Lands a big elbow there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, big shots from the top. That was nice. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. And now they're being thrown on both sides. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Takedown defense holds up. Immediately gets the underhook. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. How clean is that jab by Ali? Just misses with a left hook there. Well, DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh. Wow, he gets out and now reverses position. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. He was constantly under attack. Grappler's delight tonight. Gotta be careful here. Going full mount, and he's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, trying to go to half guard. One minute to go, round two. 
Oh, he got to his spot. Posters up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh. He's very close to the finish here. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting nice sub attempt. This has got to be it. Man, I always think they're done. Surprise me. Final seconds here of round two. Ali's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those operators from his opponent. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Beautiful straight punch there by Ali. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. With conviction to the body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Muhammad Ali's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, nice takedown defense. Continuing to go to the head. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured. But I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Ooh, what a punch. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. The cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. Man, he has a great double leg. My oh, goodness, he has a great double leg. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. It looks like he's getting close to this arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze in his opponent while no choice but to tap. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, side control now. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? And now he's got the back. He's getting the out here. He's got to be careful here. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss 
from the top position. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. That was a slick transition. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Posture is up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, he might have that submission locked in. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to be careful here. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Ali. Final seconds of round three. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar cut. Ali's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you eventually... Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not jump the lights up. And now, he's past the time to find that shot again. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so many times that his opponent sees the cut, and the cut is advancing. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. While he is landing time and time again on that cut. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. 
Muhammad Ali's nose is just pulled. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Big time arm triangle situation here. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Knee on belly. Pasta's on knee on belly. He's bringing it down for Allen Paul. He has to move or the fight is going to get stopped. Two minutes now to go. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Great job landing from the top position. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. See the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Ali's pass attempt denied. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Time with which to work, 30 seconds to go in the round. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to So the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter, who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, nice block. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Oh, nice jab by Ali. Ali's cut has really opened up now. That blood is flowing. Didn't necessarily wake up thinking he was going to be donating blood today. He has donated a whole lot of it. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Tries to work it into a takedown. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the right side position coming here and try to stop this fight. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Take down defenses there. And now some separation. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense. Oh! Oh, he is home for seven. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, beautiful level change. Go oh, Kimura now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's getting close to the finish now. Somehow 
some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out with this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this, and as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reaction. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class and changing position on real to see. He's got to start throwing down. Like that. Like that. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Oh, he's going for his arm now. Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Ali's back in full mount. Now inside the close goal. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, that gilly is tight. He's really working hard for his guillotine, but he can't blow out his arms. He's gotta make sure it's secure if he's gonna go 100% to try to get this finish. a nice punch from his back. One minute to go. Nicely done. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, struggling to create an angle here, champ. He's a fighter, man. He's gonna fight everything. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it eventually his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission he did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon we send it inside the octagon bruce buffer has the official decision Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.